After four years of fighting, reports say the Emirates are reducing their troop numbers to pave the way for what they're calling a strategic redeployment plan in Yemen. The Houthis and those opposed to the UAE-Saudi war say it's a withdrawal, a sign that the two countries are losing the war. In reality, it's difficult to know the exact reason behind the troop withdrawal. Four years since the war began, what started off as an international coalition of Arab and Muslim countries led by Saudi Arabia to restore the UN-backed government in Yemen has turned into a coalition of two, Saudi and the UAE, bombing Yemen and transforming it into the worst humanitarian catastrophe on earth, according to the United Nations. Four years ago, there was almost daily briefings by the Saudi-led coalition. Troop numbers were given together with military targets. But since, human rights violations have emerged and accusations of war crimes have been leveled against the Saudis and the Emiratis. Information has been much less forthcoming. Activists have filed court cases in the United Kingdom petitioning the government to stop selling British weapons to the Gulf countries targeting Yemen, particularly Saudi Arabia. Last month, the UK's Supreme Court ruled that arms sales to Saudi Arabia were unlawful, a decision the UK government is appealing. In the United States, members of both the House and the Senate are demanding that arms sales stop too. And that, according to Nobel Prize recipient and rights activist Tawakkul Karman, is the main reason for the UAE withdrawing troops. This is a partial withdrawal intended to improve the UAE's image in front of the international community. This withdrawal has come as a result of the Emirates' failure in Yemen. I'm certain that the UAE and Saudi Arabia will retreat in shame from Yemen after they fail completely. There was real pressure from the UK on the Emirates that forced them to withdraw in order order to repair their public relations image. Another important reason is the Iranian threat. If tension in the region continues, the UAE would be a prime target. It's not just international pressure that's been applied on the Emirates. The Houthis, backed by Iran, have proven to be a formidable enemy, taking the war to the UAE. They claimed responsibility for an attack on Abu Dhabi International Airport last year when an unmanned drone was able to reach its target without being intercepted. While debates will continue over the reasons behind the reduction in forces, many will be asking, after four years of death and destruction, what exactly has been achieved. The UN-recognized government remains unable to govern. The Houthis maintain control over Yemen. The only difference is more Yemeni men, women and children have been killed or had their livelihoods destroyed. Jamal al-Shayal, Al-Jazeera.